Hi everybody! Thanks so much for tuning in today. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Renee with Renee Stained Glass Works, and this is a channel where I like to talk about everything stained glass. So if that's something that interests you, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also have a website, reneestainedglassworks.com, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll go ahead and put the links for those in the description below. And today's video is going to be um, about how I make and attach my hooks for my stained glass pieces. And I'll go over some things that, um, you know, some tools that you'll need and some things that you'll need to get started. And um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so some things you're going to need to get started are um, the first thing is going to be safety goggles unless you wear glasses um, but safety goggles is very important when working with wire um, not only can you just you know loose wire around you just get poked in the eye but when you're cutting uh, the wire with your wire cutters uh, it can you know flick up and get you in the eye so that's important um, <clears throat> you're going to want to have a basic uh, jewelry uh, kit jewelry tool kit and this is one that I got at Hobby Lobby uh, a while ago. I'm sure they still have it. I'll uh, put the link for this in the description below. And in this, let me get my wire cutters. We have the wire cutters. We have the, um, I think these are called uh, needle nose pliers. And these are the round nose pliers. So you'll want two needle nose pliers and I bought an extra one um, you know for opening and closing your hooks like this you'll want to use these these ones here which is why you want two so you'll want that you're also gonna want um, this tool here is called a loop right plier and I'll put the link for this in the description below. I got this at Hobby Lobby too. And basically, um, I use it like a, a mandrel kind of, and um, I like to use this thickness uh, for my hooks. So there's that. And then um, any kind of mandrel will do. This is kind of one that my husband made for me where I can uh, put the wire in these little holes and I have the different sizes that I can uh, use. So that works really good. And you're also going to want um, tinned uh, copper wire, and I use 16 gauge and 14 gauge. So those are things that you're definitely going to want um, before you get started. And um, I'll go ahead and give you guys uh, the demonstration on how I do it. So using my mandrel, I'm just going to twist the wire around it and I don't know, this is either the 16 or the 14 gauge, but I do it in both. Uh, obviously the 14 gauge is a heavier duty hook, but I do like to use the 16 gauge as well. So yeah, you just wrap it around that. And I'm gonna nip it off there with my wire cutters. And then from here, all you're gonna do is uh, nip it right down the center and it's going to give you those little hooks and these are the hooks that you're going to weld onto your pieces or solder onto your pieces so there you go that's it and this one is how I make um, the heavier duty hooks that you want to solder into the solder lines of your heavier pieces. That way you don't have to worry about it ever, you know, ever failing on you. And I'll show you guys in the end how I do that. And you can also order these. Um, I'll try to put some links below um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you make those. Super easy. And now I'm just going to go ahead and attach my hooks. And I don't normally have my 
piece is patinaed when I add my hooks, but I used this particular piece in a lot of demo videos, so I kind of just been playing around with it. So I thought I would use it for this. But yeah, you're just going to go ahead and solder these uh, into the... You want to get them into a solder line if you can. I always try to get my hooks into a solder line. So when I'm creating the pattern, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about where my hooks are going to fall, um, you know, how heavy the piece is going to be. These are some things that you'll want to think about when you're creating your patterns. And when you attach it, you want to make sure that, you know, it's soldered all the way through. And you're going to flip it over as well and do the back side. And I'll show you that in the video. So I'm going to show you how I attached uh, the hooks to this piece using those heavy duty hooks that we made. And this piece is wrapped with channel and these heavy duty hooks fit nicely over top of it and you can solder it right into the solder line. And it works out really nice. You don't have to worry about it giving up on you. And I did that on both sides. I really hope that this video helps some people out. And if anybody has any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a beautiful day.